Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Wear Parts Food Network. Uh, we have some exciting products here to offer today. Uh, these are some of our cooking walks. Eric, if you could just uh, tell us a little bit about these uh, products. Yeah, as an offshoot of our display lineup, uh, it just seemed natural to get into the uh, uh, into the cooking aspect with the, the nice round product. So basically, you have a uh, a uh, high quality boron steel. That's right. But we don't have a hole in the middle. That's a very good thing. We don't want anything leaking out the bottom. Uh, nice curvature there. Uh, and another feature we have here is it does not have a beveled edge at all. It just has a nice square, nice edge. square edge. Yep. And and uh, this this smaller one here, let's just talk a little bit about those. This smaller one is uh, for travel. Uh, and. Uh, like you said, Eric, you can use it for if you're just cooking by yourself. Yeah, if you're a single person like me and you barely cook for yourself, occasionally might want to cook for two. This might be a good option and for you. And then you've got the 22 inch, uh, same thickness, and uh, it you can use it for doing breakfast uh, sometimes, or you can uh, do fajitas. I know that 24 inch deep cone over there yeah. has a little bit of a flatter spot in the middle. Yeah, we got a nice uh, flat center on, on this one. Uh, real nice deep dish size, so you can really get in there, load things up, have the different uh, different zones for heating on that. Uh, do your main your main uh, sizzle in the bottom, and have the heating up around the top. That's good. And also, you can do uh, stews or oh, yes. jambalaya or uh, some of your Creole recipes in in that one. It, it can hold more, uh, uh, I would say, soup type material. So, anyways. Another thing to know about these is that there is no coating on them at all at, when, when they start out. So they're going to have a little bit of surface rust. Get in there, clean that off, and then make sure you season it good with some olive oil, get some heat, get some olive oil on that, and uh, keep that thing protected. It'll, it'll keep it from rusting, just like any other, any other iron, raw iron um, or steel cooking utensils. Yeah, it's good. So <clears throat> these, there's there's never been paint on these, but there is a little bit of surface rust at times. Just takes a right angle grinder uh, with a with a wire brush or whatever just to um, to, to knock that off. And uh, you can go ahead and uh, get some heat to it, put some oil on it, season it up, and then uh, walk like an Egyptian. Or if you're in dire straits, here's a walk for life. Yeah. while you're playing the walk of life. And you might as well walk like a man while you're doing it. That's excellent. Thank you and good morning.